Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to build a soundboard app using SDK and Xcode. What I'm going to show you today is how to build a soundboard app um, and I'm going to show you all the code that you need and I'm going to basically walk you through step by step what to do to build your very own soundboard app. Um, the problem I had when I first started this was I had to watch several videos um, from you know from several different uh, people on YouTube, which although were very 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 useful and helpful, um, it was a bit annoying that I had to go and watch one person's video for this and one person's video for that, etc. etc. So what I'm going to try and do is um, over a course of a few videos, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do um, if what you need to do is what I've done. So first of all, I'll show you um, one of my apps, and I'll show you what how we're going to build it. So jor Wisdom, The Fortress of Solitude. Okay, this is my one of my apps on the iTunes Store, jor Wisdom. Basically, I've got um, uh, some custom buttons here. Um, you know, these are all made by myself. Um, here's one of the buttons. Uh, here we go. For this reason, above all, their capacity for good, I have sent them you, my only son. Uh, we have an info page. Uh, you can have anything you want on this page. This is what I chose to have. Um, an app, uh, a link at the bottom to Man's the Word app, which, if I click on that right now, which I won't, will take me straight to the actual app on iTunes, so you can download that if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to build one of these apps. Um, here's another one, Animals. This is the loading page, um, which I will show you how to do. Um, and here are the buttons. Um, as you can see, a test advertisement just dropped down to the bottom, which, um, again, I can show you how to do that if you want to put um, advertisements on using the iAd network. Uh, again, same same scenario, information page. Um, at the bottom, there is a link. You can have a link to anything you want. This link goes to my website, stephenjamesburden07.co.uk. Um, and then on that website there is links to all my apps and all the iTunes links if you wanted to go download any of these then feel free um, anyway that's not what we're here for today I'm here to show you how to build an iPhone app now basically the first thing I want to talk about is when you create your project um, you have to name it and if you name it something that's longer than 13 digits long this is what happens See where this name is Draw L's Wisdom. Well, I'm missing the L, the S, space, and the W. Same with this semi pro soundboard, it's too long. If your app name is less than 13 digits, Lex put downs fits perfectly, animals fits perfectly. Um, just bear that in mind when you open your project and name it because once you've named it, that's once you've named it and you've started building it. It's very, very, very hard to change the name, so make sure you get the name right from the beginning. So come here, create a new Xcode project. You get this option, and you can choose one of these. Basically, the application that we're going to choose is the utility application. Make sure the use core data for storage is ticked. This basically gives us a main view and a flip side view. Okay, All right. To so choose, and this is where you type in your name. Now, this name can be short here, but when you upload it to iTunes, you can make it as long as you like. But this name is what um, determines the name on here. Okay, so if I was to name this, um, I don't know, Steve's ultimate um, soundboard. App, then we wouldn't even see that. We'd just see something like this, which I think looks pretty ugly. 
and I need to change a couple of my apps here that they um, fit in. So I'm just going to call this one plain and simple soundboard. Okay. Save. Might as well save as the desktop. It's so much easier to access. Um, so click save. As you can see, um, our soundboard app is saved here. I'm just going to make it a different color so I can see it. It's purple. Here is the project. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the main view, um, main view controller.h, main view controller.m, then we're going to go to flip side view controller.h and the flip side view controller.m, and then we're going to go to application delegate dot h and application delegate dot m um, and put in all our code um, before we do that what we need to do is add the frameworks we've already got four frameworks in there but if you highlight one of them right click or um, on the Mac control and click uh, reveal and finder and then it shows you all of the frameworks that you could use Basically, we need an audio toolbox, so just drag that over, okay, and then Xcode will ask you if this is what you want to do, add, go back to your frameworks, and then uh, you need um, AV Foundation, so click AV Foundation, drag and drop that over, add. Um, if you were going to put uh, adverts on, you will need to um, drag and drop in the iAd framework. But right now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to concentrate on building the app, um, you know, one step at a time and all that. So close that. Frameworks are done. Right. Okay. Resources. This is where you will go to um, build your interface builder. So main view um, and flip side view, that's your two main views. Um, we will come back to this in a minute, but right now, just click on resources, um, control click or right click, add a new group. You want to add images. This is where we're going to save our images. And same again, new group, sounds. This is where we're going to save our sounds because if you've got lots of images and lots of sounds you want to save them somewhere otherwise it will get very messy so for images we need to get an image so if I go to my um, iPhone apps uh, draw hours wisdom miscellaneous um, crystal we we'll use this crystal so I will drag and drop that onto desktop. Jurals and sounds. Um, I will drag and drop one of the sounds onto desktop. Close. So what you want to do, make sure your images are saved as PNGs. So you can do this using Photoshop um, and the projects available, I'm sure. Um, so basically, just drag that into your project sample project gone now your sound you want to change the m4a to caf um, you can use mp3s you can use WAF, uh, wavs but cafs seem to work um, fine so yes i want to use caf let's change that to a different format and drag and drop that into your soundboard app Right, come back to the project, images, right click, control click, add existing file, crystal, PNG, add, add, okay, sounds, same again, add existing files, there she is, add, yes, okay, so that's done, so basically what I'm going to do now, main view controller dot h and we're going to load in our code on this this will show us 
the actions that we need for the main view. At the moment, the only action that it has pre-programmed is the show info button, which basically is the button that takes you to the flip side view. To save time, I'm going to open up one of my apps, Draws Wisdom. I'm going to go to the main view controller dot H and this is the code you need, okay? You need this code from here down to there. Um, I'll give you a few seconds if you want to pause the screen and copy it. Basically at the bottom you've got IB action, play sound. Um, this is important because this will tell Interface Builder that there is an option to play a sound. So when we go into Interface Builder, you will be able to then create a sound button. But right now, instead instead of typing this all individually, I'm going to just copy this. Um, I'm going to come to our project. I'm going to delete what's there. And I'm going to paste it. If you are um, going to write this manually yourself, you have to make sure it's exactly the same, even down to capital letters, um, down to spacing, um, brackets, make sure you use the right brackets. Um, if you're struggling with the code, just send me an email and I will email you the code you need. Just email if you say, just tell me which one you need, if it's main view .h m, flip side view .h m, whatever, just let me know and I can send it to you. Um, once it's in there, uh, you can see that this main computer dot h is in a shadow, which means it needs saving. So just save that, and it comes back to light. Um, so that's the main view controller dot h code done. Main view controller dot n. Okay, same scenario. I'll go back to one of my old projects. We're going to copy this code, and we're going to load it straight back in to the new project. I will. Um, make this bigger so you guys can copy it if you need to. I'll leave it there for a few seconds and I will scroll down. Don't worry about the green text because that's just telling you what these uh, actions and stuff are. Okay, now I'll just scroll back up and show you this. This is what's going to happen. Basically, prepare sound. So this code is telling your project that it needs to get a file from sounds plist, which we will put together in a while, in a little while, and then it needs to get the type of sound CAF. Now, if you loaded in sounds that were MP3s and WAV files, it wouldn't work if this says CAF because it means the project is looking for a CAF file. Um, so basically, let me just copy this. Again, if you're struggling to write it all out manually, send me an email and I can email you the code. So let's go to mainviewcontroller.m. I'm going to try and hurry things up a little bit because I know this can get a bit boring. Paste. Okay, save. So let's paste it in, saved. That's main view controller done. Okay, flip side view, same again. Um, <clears throat> let's go to our old project. And we're going to do the same. I'll leave it there for a few seconds if you want to pause it. Um, basically, you can see it says IB action, more apps. So that's the action I've put in there so I can put in a button to take you to my other apps. Flipside view dot h. Delete what's there. View. Okay. Save. Done. M. Now the view uh, flipside view controller dot m tells the action where to go. So IB action more apps. This is where it's telling it to go. <coughs> In this case, uh, it's going to one of my apps. Nan's the word, so itunes.apple.com forward slash gb forward slash app forward slash Nan's the word with the the, the, the item number. Um, I'll put our scroll down so you can get the rest of it. Okay, three, two, one.
I snap down and pause it. Let's go up. Um, I will copy this code. I will go back to main view controller, sorry, flip side view controller H. Delete what's there. View. Save. Okay, done. Okay, now we need to go to application delicate. So application, excuse me, delicate H. Same again, back to the old one, but in this case, we only need to copy, if you can see both of these, um, we don't need core data, so I will delete that. Okay, um, main view controller, that was already there, interface soundboard applicant, interface jars wisdom, blah, 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 down to here, private, so we need to copy from, it's only this little bit, that's all we need. Um, sorry, I'll bring this over so you can copy it manually. So basically, if you're going to copy this from here, make sure you put your, uh, your app name here. So in our case, it's Soundboard. So it will be Soundboard App Delegate, okay? Not Joel's Wisdom. So we've copied that. Come across. I will delete this bit here. We don't need it. Save. Okay, done. Sandboard app delicate dot m. Okay, now this is now where in this uh, code um, this will tell us this will tell the project how long to keep the loading page frozen for. So when you open up your um, when you open up your app, go straight to the loading page, okay? That's four seconds before it goes into the app. There's the app. Um, Take charge, test advertising. Know we are. Okay, so that's that. Um, four seconds. I always keep them at four seconds. You can have it as long as you like. Um, there's no point having it too long, too short. You may as well have it at least three seconds because um, if there's information on there that you want customers to view or read, four seconds is plenty long enough. So. We need to copy this from here, Pragamark. Again, if you want to uh, copy this now, I can freeze it. Don't worry about this warning. Um, you get warnings all the time, but they're only warnings. Uh, doesn't affect the way that works. So I will just scroll down a bit more if you want to copy the rest of it. There you go. <clears throat> Enough time to pause. Three, two, one. Okay, so I will copy this. Copy. Come to our project from the same point. I will delete and I will paste and I'll save. Okay, so that is all your code. Um, if you're struggling with the code, again, like I said, let me know. Send me an email. I can quite easily email you the code you need. So what we're going to do now, we're going to open up the main view controller, um, which is the interface builder. I will save that for the next um, tutorial. Um, and in that tutorial, we will basically create our custom button, and we will link it up to the action of sound, and we will add the sound, and then I will show you that it works. Um, thanks for watching and tune in for the next episode which is hopefully